Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, I guess, but two months has passed and we have another cruelty free beauty box. And I'm really excited because they come every two months and it's just really nice to see what products we're gonna get. So, let's have a look. Lovely purple this time, really pretty. So, again, we have our beautiful presented seed paper with all the information of our box on it, which I still to this day think is a lovely idea because you're just reusing as much as you can really if you're using this. I've still not had a chance to plant my others, but we'll get there, we'll get there. When all the storms go, we'll get there. Anyway, so if we look on number one, it is Belayed in Provence Solid Night Cream, full size. And I am guessing it's this one right here. So as you can see, it is a purple box, quite small. I don't really know what it is. Night cream, solid night cream. So it says here, wake up with soft hydrated skin formulated with all natural ingredients. This handmade bar is a nourishing evening moisturizer. Certified organic and enriched with cocoa butter and apricot kernel oil to hydrate dry skin while you sleep. How to use. Slowly glide the bar over your face when needed and the warmth of your skin will melt the bar. Then use your fingers to massage the product into your face as you would any night cream. So it is literally a solid cream bar. So if you have a look, that's really funny. <laughs> That's really cute. Look. Aww. Little things, isn't it? It's, <laughs> it's literally... It looks like a cheese block. And it's actually mounting in my fingertip. No surprise. Doesn't smell of a lot. I'm really interested to see if it works right. Because it's... Yeah, I just... I imagine it could be quite oily. I guess but it says it's a, a solid cream bar it's hydrating and yeah I'm guessing it's French yep homemade in France 100% organic vegan bio and all that jazz so yeah that is the solid bar cream face whatever you want to call it, but that is it. I'm really interested to actually see how that works. And it's nice that we got, like, a French company, because, you know, see what else is out there, I guess. So yeah, that is the Provence, Ballard en Provence. So, number two on our list is the Salt Parlor Bath and Body Oil. Nourish, full size. So that last one, twenty pounds. That is, I w I only spent three pounds on my actual cream. Twenty pounds. That's quite steep, but anyway, this Bath and Body Oil is sixteen ninety five. And if I actually show you <laughs> the salt parlor, I love the metal tin. Actually, it's really. Really cool. It's really pretty. So it says on our seeded sheets, nourish your skin with this rich all over body oil. Coconut, avocado, soybean, and sweet almond soup and hydrate skin while ylang ylang essential oils. Please don't quote me on that. I know that's going to be wrong. Anyway, it's oil may simulate a natural glow. May simulate. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It either does or it doesn't. Anyway, apply generously all over body for nourished skin. Apply immediately after you shower or bath to lock in moisture. Use two to three times a week. So it's a 
moisturizing oil in a way so you you do your moisture moisturization and then you put this on so it keeps all the nice softness inside your body instead of drying out but the sound of oil on my skin all day doesn't really appeal to me <gasps> oh, it, yeah. I mean, obviously we'd have to see because if it's greasy, then I'm not going to be very happy. I have just had a shower, so in essence, it should do what it's telling us. I can't tell if it's greasy. It's smells quite nice actually yeah so I guess you can put it in the bath as well so it soaks into your skin and not just afterwards because it says bath oil body and bath oil on the front so I guess that it could either work two ways <clears throat> but yeah I think I think I'm gonna be impressed by this little little fella here actually but yeah, ylang ylang and sandalwood nourish. So there we go once more. That is the salt parlor. There we go. So number three on our list, we have pit balm, deodorant balm, full size, five pounds. That must be this brightly coloured tin right here. Pit balm again, nice metal tin, just like the salt parlor very nice it says an all-natural fully organic deodorant balm that works <laughs> it works apparently free from aluminium parabens alcohol harmful chemicals artificial fragrances and CFCs don't know what a CFC is using the tip of your finger apply a pea-sized amount under clean dry armpits reapply after showering or bathing so it's literally a like a, a balm for your pits, I guess. A natural deodorant or eco-friendly deodorant. So it's just like a little Vaseline tin. And it's a very simple packaging, which is quite nice. However, it is off center, which is really bothering me. <laughs> Organic deodorant with a hint of grapefruit oil. So let's have a little oh, my hands are oily now. There we go. So it's literally like this weird powder stuff. I can smell grapefruit, which is always nice to have a nice grapefruit under your armpit. Wow, it literally melts like icing sugar. That's really weird. It literally melts right under the heat of your finger. That is crazy. So it's a little bit like gristly I'd say but it kind of smooths out nicely it does smell gorgeous actually very subtle but yeah it's created like a dry powder almost you can't see the powder but it it feels a little bit powdery so I'm intrigued because last organic natural bio blah blah deodorant I had it would melt I mean, maybe I put too much on, I'm not sure, but it would melt so much that it, it just felt really wet and it wasn't that comfortable to wear, really. So, I am intrigued, but I'm not, a pea-sized amount, I don't, you know, I can't, 20 guys, I'd say, I'm not too sure, but five pounds. Or deodorant, you know, I usually buy a pound on from Superdrug, that's obviously vegan. But yeah, obviously, if it's decent, you're gonna pay the money, etc. etc. But yes, I will have to see on that one because the last one I had just wasn't that great. So yeah, that is the Pit Balm Natural Deodorant. 
So, what are we on now? We are on number four. So, number four is Ben and Anna. Toothpaste, white or sensitive, full sized. Recommended retail price is £8.95. So, right, this one has a good idea that it's the one I need to get. So, nice Ben and Anna on the front. So, it's really heavy actually. It's like a bloody brick. So, this is it. Really nice packaging actually. Really pretty. So it's a natural toothpaste. I know you can get these little pellets, but it doesn't shape like it's pellets. It feels like it's a solid thing. So it's made in the EU. Supports ocean cleaning. That's really, really good actually. You know, I absolutely love all these things that help the things that need, that actually need help. You know. Anyway. So, say goodbye to Plastic Tubes, a certified natural toothpaste that protects against tooth decay and keeps your mouth healthy. Apply a small amount with the applicator on your toothbrush and clean your teeth as usual for a box two minutes. Do not swallow, okay? So let's have a little looky. Oh, you even get a little Ben and Anna little spatula. So you use this because you don't really want to dip your toothbrush in this because, you know, a bit un unhygienic. And it's got a tiny little bunny. Look how cute that is. So vegan, bunny free, supports cleaning of the ocean. So it's got sea buckthorn, chamomile and aloe vera for sensitive teeth. Which is good, I guess. Always good. Let's have a look inside. Whoa! Now this looks weird. The smell is incredible. Oh my goodness! I actually just want to eat that with the spatula. It's the best. Oh my goodness! I can't stop. Ooh. So it's very soft. And oh, I just cannot get the smell. So please excuse me, Ben. Glides on nicely. It's actually just like a um, toothpaste in, in a pot. I thought it'd be really hard actually, and I thought it'd be more of a a melt, melt in the mouth, where with the heat, but it it just feels like regular toothpaste that you can get from a tube, but obviously in in the the glass container, which is is brilliant. You know, people do need to be more aware of what they're doing, what they're using, etc. And I think this is a perfect way, and it's. It's very unique, it's something you can put on the sides and you know people are gonna ask about it. Um yeah, so I'm actually really really intrigued to try this properly and see how it does compare to regular toothpaste as well. So yes, at £8.95 at 100 millilitres probably is on the very expensive side for a toothpaste. But you know, if uh, if you've got all your core values in place, then you are gonna spend the money or something like this. But anyway, moving on. This is Ben and Anna toothpaste. There we go. Number five on our list. What do we have? It says here. Blue by Jean Seal Fay. What does that even mean? I don't know. Anyway, so let's just find it first. L U E by Jean Seal Fay. So on the front it says it's a scar reducer. 
which is cool. Very cool. It's perfectly small. I love the colour. And it says, treats dark spots and discoloration on skin to diminish the effects of scars, acne, sun damage and ageing. Using applicator or cotton swab, apply to targeted areas. Use nightly. For sensitive skin, use every, every other night. So it's not just for scars, it's for acne and sun damage and ageing. So if you've got an old spot, whack it on, you'll be fresh in the morning. I'm guessing that's what it means. But it comes like a, a lip gloss almost, which is easy. Enough. I guess obviously don't apply to broken skin or any sensitive areas but yeah so it's made in the USA I've never actually seen something like this also I'm actually <laughs> I'm really intrigued to try every time I pick a spot it's going on there don't want that to damage me <laughs> that's really cool but, however, I did just see, this is the full size, and it is £14.95. It's going to have to be a miracle worker for scars to be that price. I mean, that's steep, just for that tiny pot as well. So it's going to have to be really, really good. I mean, you know, scars don't go easily, so... I don't really know what else to say about that one, but yeah, so that's the Lou by Jean Sale Bait. So the last thing is number six, and it's the last little thing I've got in my box, which is this. London Copyright Eyeshadow, full size, £4.50, which is about average for a an eyeshadow singles. Um, Especially for a vegan one, probably the same price. So it's a unique and stunning array of matte satin and shimmer eyeshadow shades that inspire a multitude of distinctive looks. Gorgeous, soft, velvety, high performance pigments that blend seamlessly and stay perfectly in place. The shades are magnetic so they can be placed into your own palette or left in their sleeve. Wow, okay. That's cool. I mean, I did just order a little empty palette because I've got a few more of these. So that can go right in there. So I'm not too sure if it's a brown or a pink colour, but it's glittery, it's gorgeous, and it's subtle as well. So that's, yeah, don't really know what else to say. but. Oh, I see, so it comes in its tiny little packet here, so you can just use that as a transportation method or obviously if you've got a few or a lot you can go buy small, medium or large little packets for that, but oh wow that is so pigmented, I've literally just dabbed my finger on that and you can see that, that's crazy, wow, so obviously I'm guessing the heavier it is, the more pigmented it is, but a little goes a long way by the sound of it. But that's really pretty, actually. That is really pretty. Um, so yeah, again, vegan, paraben free, against animal testing as well. Let's set them back here. Um, yeah, not much I have to say about that one either, but we have had a magnificent box if I'm honest with you. That toothpaste just looks phenomenal. Natural deodorant is always a good thing to try if I'm honest with you. A bit dubious about the face cream but we will see. The scar reducer, I really have high hopes for this little fella because if it works it will just be amazing. It's going to be really good. And obviously don't forget the oil for when you get out the bath, which will just make you look and feel like a baby, supposedly, I'm guessing. 
but yeah, no, I am really impressed for this month's bots. If you remember, they come every two months and they are about £20 or so, I can't remember, um, per subscription, which is really good considering this was £15 on its own, that was £9, that was £20 or, or something like that. You've already got double what you would have spent and it's a brilliant, brilliant way to find products that you want to find on the shelves as well. So that is always a bonus for me because I hate using the same things all the time. It just gets so boring. It, you know, it opens your eyes a little bit. Anyway, these are our fantastic six products that we have. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Tell me if you get this box as well. If you do, just comment below what you think of the products. But yeah, so this is my unboxing. This is not paid or sponsored or any of that. I just do it for fun because I have free time. Anyway, nice chatting to you all. See you later. Bye.